Hello awesome viewers, how are you all? Welcome back to my channel. Okay, wait for it. Instead of me saying an introduction today, let the computer say for a second thought, right? So let me just open a program here. Let me just click on introduction. Let's see what happens. Hello awesome viewers. How are you all? I am Azure Techno Coder. Welcome to my channel. Do you want to know how computer voice today replaced Azure voice? Let the real Azure explain with an example. Wow, oh, that was awesome, right? Yeah, that, that was really awesome. Let me know in the comments below that do I have to give this computer voice as an introduction or my voice? Okay, let us go in, in detail. Let us go in depth, like how we are creating a voice programs using VBScript, right? VBScript is an amazing language, guys, I'll tell you. It is one of the best languages which I have worked already. So let us go in depth, right? Like how we are going to create this. It, it will be awesome, guys. Just, uh, just see the program here. Okay, let us set an agenda for today. Agenda will be simple to create computer voice using using what? Maybe script, right? Maybe script is the god. No, not the god, really. I'm just saying it. So let me close the agenda. Let us open a program, right? Let us have fun with it. Let me just um, Click to new script. Okay, I've already, I've already written the text for you. Uh, let me just uh, delete this. Let me take from the beginning how we are going to create program, right? Fine. So we are you we are going to use a new concept here called create object. Create object is nothing but uh, there are few predefined classes in the script. To access those classes, we have to use a reference variable to access those classes so that reference variable can access all the methods present in that particular class or particular interface, anything like that. So let us uh, let us let us write it down what I'm trying to explain. So let us uh, give um, normally we use dim right to declare a to initialize. Uh, to declare a variable right we use dim so for reference variable or creating or writing variable which uh, takes a create object or which which uses the classes which uses the methods right we use set so set will use computer voice as my what is this as my reference variable i'll write create create object and you can write create object in small letters capital letters as we will this case in insensitive, so it won't matter. So what object are we going to access here? So there is an object called sepi dot sp voice. So I'll just write a simple two lines so that we can understand how and this computer voice is coming up. Computer voice as this computer voice here. In this example, sorry, where I'm going. In this example, we have used computer voice, right? This computer voice will have an access to all the methods present in SAPI. To all the methods present here, SAPI.sp voice. So if I click dot, normally if you are using VBS edit, we'll get all the objects present present in a computer voice. But normally I like to work on Notepad. So I'm a Notepad guy, right? So if we click dot, we'll get one object dot speak. So what this speak does, it, this will allow this object to speak in a particular voice, like the voice you just heard during the introduction. So let's just say, hello, awesome viewers. Let me just save this. Let me just click on save as. Let me just enter computer voice. So 
computer voice dot pbs right I can just save it close this the, I'll double click it just you just please hit the voice right hello awesome viewers got that so I'll I'll explain I'll explain how I wrote the code right I'll just right click it I'll just edit it and I'll not be using any functions neither I'll be using uh, arrays to store because I haven't covered the covered yet those concepts so I'll just copy this I'll just give it a delay I'll just write w script dot sleep for 500 milliseconds so that when computer voice speaks right when 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 you speak let's say i speak oh, hello awesome viewers how are you all i give a delay right a computer language should have a delay computer voice should have a delay not the language but i'm thinking copy this let me just copy this also instead of awesome viewers i'll write how are you all as a question mark let me copy this and save it close it double click hello awesome viewers how are you all so you got that right it is saying hello awesome viewers how are you all so this is how i've created the introduction right i'll give the entire code in the description so that uh, you can play with the code uh, you can have a different uh, different kind of examples where you want computer to speak for you right now always understand the computer if computer speaks that's really good right okay let me just copy this let me just paste paste it paste it so introduction was hello some years how are you all i am as a technocoder that's what i wrote okay, let's just write it down here i am Oh, sorry, I missed caps here. Sorry, I am as a techno coder. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Do you want to know how my computer was replaced as a voice? That was another statement which I gave. want to know how the computer voice replaced as a voice again we have to copy something here the last thing which I wrote was let let the real as a explain with an example What if I explain in music? That's, that's a different story anyway. I'll just uh, save this, come to computer voice. And uh, guys, please listen for the voice here. I'll just, I'm just double clicking this program. Hello, awesome viewers. How are you all? I am Ezra Techno Coder. Welcome to my channel. Do you want to know how computer voice replaced Ezra voice? Let the real Azer explain with an example. So that's it. That the voice of the computer is really good. We can use the voice for different type of examples here. So um, you might also have a doubt, right? So why, why we, even in the Siri, like iPhone, we'll have a male voice and a female voice. Do we have a female voice? Can we create a female voice using Vimeo script, right? We uh, we can actually create it, right? So let me just copy this code. Let me edit it. Copy the entire code. Let me close this. Let me open the new text document. I don't know why this is not going anywhere. Save it. 
only thing you have to use the parameters the, the kind of uh, methods which we can access with sap sp voice object right so low computer if you if you have vbs edit if like i'll also make one video if you guys want like how to install vbs edit and how to how to access all the objects from from the reference variable i'll let you guys know in the comments or you, you guys can let me know in the comments that if you want to know more about vbs edit let me know so um so computer voice we have to set we have to take uh, set as another examples as a reference will then computer voice will have voice as an object as a method computer voice has different kinds of methods this is one of the methods which we use so computer voice okay let me just copy this computer voice will have male voice and female voice so we can access this object with the get voices dot item of oh, there are two items right so item one will again be a female voice or not let's see on that so let me save this as a computer voice two dot pbs put all files let me save this and i am not writing <laughs> I'm not really as a technical because I'm not a female, right? So I don't have a female voice. Sorry, I am. So we can write a different computer generated voice. So guys, let me know like if you're finding this font a big, or if you want a little smaller font, let me know in the comments. Save this, close it. Okay, listen for the voice now. Hello awesome viewers. How are you all? I am computer generated female voice. Welcome to my channel. Do you want to know how computer voice replaced Azure voice? Let the real Azure explain with an example. So that was good. So how can we go back to the male voice again, right? So only thing is we have to make one simple adjustment. So instead of this, copy it, paste it. Just give item zero. Item zero is a male voice. Item one a female voice. Just comment this. Just save this. And I will not write a female voice because definitely male voice will come here. Uh, okay, just. Um, Let's just save this. Close it. Hello, awesome viewers. How are you all? I am computer generated male voice. Welcome to my channel. Do you want to know how computer voice replaced Azure voice? Let the real Azure explain with an example. So, guys, that was a computer voice, female and male voice. And you can, I'll just copy the entire code so that you guys can play around with it and you can get many, many examples out of it. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you like this video or if you want to use VBS Edit or if you want to know more about objects, how, can, how it can be accessed through a create object method, right? Let me know in the comments below. So if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Oh, wait. Instead of me telling out the end statements, right? Let the voice tell it for itself, right? Let the computer voice tell it for itself. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. So thank you guys, thank you for watching. Have a great day, till then, bye-bye, take care.